So let's start from getting access to our category because right now we don't have it set and we cannot proceed without it. Uh, to do this, I'm going to jump to my main storyboard, select my segue that is going from my plus button. And now I need to give this an identifier because we need to call this in a code. So we need to know which segue is this. So it's going to be item to add item seg. Copy this and let me close the side panel. We are going to do go to items table view controller and scroll all the way down. We have this dummy code. I'm going to uncomment my navigation part with the mark. And let's just get rid of everything inside our function here. And instead, I'm going to say if segue dot identifier is equals to my segue identifier. And let's just get rid of empty lines here. We are going to create a get access to our view controller. So we say let VC is equals to segue dot destination as and we know that this is add item view controller and then we can access our uh, vc dot category is equals and remember we have a category here so we are going to say category and we are going to unwrap this so this way every time we pass from our add uh, from our items to our add item view controller we will have access to our category as well so if i put in my view did load print let's say category dot id for example and let's see if it's going to print let's open our uh, function uh, our application here and once i just delete everything and let's click on it and this is our category id which uh, for us as a user it doesn't make any sense but this is the part we're going to use to add this to our item so we have access to our category and now we can start writing the code function that is actually going to save our uh, item to our firebase so uh, here right now we have a code that just prints we have a value but instead of printing we have a value we want to create this item based on the information our user has inputted and we want to save this to our firebase so let's go to our helper functions and underneath i'm going to put a mark called this save item and if you are asking a question why I'm keep putting these marks here, it's actually quite easy when you are clicking to navigate the function. So I have my IB outlets here, I have my variables, I have my actions. So now I just created save items. So this is just easier for me to navigate through my uh, functions or variables, it's just grouping them. So um, I'm going to have a private function here. I'm going to call this save to firebase and uh, this function doesn't take or return anything so now that we have this function i can get rid of the print statement here instead uh, call the function save to firebase because we want to save if everything is completed so in order to save to firebase we are going to create an item so i say let item is equals to item and we're going to instantiate it then i'm going to set the parameters of my item which is we're going to start with an id and we're going to create a unique id for this item and remember we can use a uuid in order to create a unique id for our uh, application and we're going to grab the string property and then we need the name so it's going to be item dot name is equals to our title text field dot text and we can unwrap this because before we come here we check that it has a value then we are going to say item dot category id is equals to our category dot id 
after we need to set our description so let's say item dot description is equals to our description text view dot text and we say price item dot price is equals to and we're going to grab our price text will dot text and we can unwrap this but remember the price is double so we need to convert our string into double we can do this just putting it into parentheses and call this double on it and for our images remember that there may be no images right now we are not going to save any images um, that's why I'm going to keep empty but for our images we want to make sure if the user has chosen any images that we are going to save otherwise we're not going to save anything into our uh, application uh, into our item uh, image array so in order to do that um, let's go on the top here we are going to under our variables I'm going to create a variable and call this item images and this is going to be array of UI images and it's going to be an optional and we're going to instantiate it with an empty array so actually now that we have this uh, thing here we can check if we have any images or we are going to save nothing in our image link so I'm going to say if item images dot count is greater than zero, it means we have some kind of images to save, else we have no images to save. So right now we are going to proceed with else because we are uh, our first item that we are going to create dummy will not have any images in them. So I'm going to uh, call a uh, function save to firestore and we are going to pass an item here and the item is going to be our item so this will go and save everything to our firestore and once we save what we want to do is actually dismiss this view here so we want to go back to our categories here so we need a function for that so um, let's write a helper function to to do this so under our helper functions we are going to say private func pop the view and this function is going to say uh, self dot navigation controller dot pop view controller animated true and we can call the pop view here say uh, pop the view all right and let's see if it actually works so let's go to our hobbies and I'm going to create an item, uh, for example, uh, let's say a bike. Let me just get rid of the keyboard so I can type it. The price, let's put 150. And description I'm going to keep as it is. And if I click done, the pop view happened. Let's jump to our uh, Firebase here. I'm going to refresh and see if we have created any items so you see now we have a category item here and then we have a uh, one item with a unique id and this has a uh, image links nothing the name is bike the price is 150 and the object id is represented let's see uh, this is object id which is this one and our category id is the 205p let's see which category it belongs to so this is 205p if we select it it goes hobby sport and travel so the category is set correctly so now under our uh, hobbies item we have one item for sale 
saved on our uh, in our fire page so that our save function is working at least uh, without the image uh, uploading for now and uh, we can also work on our download and show function in our items view controller 